thank you for joining me. So I've got a bit of a mail call and some more stash ads to show you. Um, the first is this Christmas card from Joachim, um, all the way from Germany. Thanks ever so much Joachim, I really do appreciate it. And the, my wife really liked the, um, the Christmas elf. Um, I forgot what they're called in um, German mythology, um, but then it could just be one of Santa's little helpers. Um, thanks ever so much for the kind words inside. I do appreciate it, brother. And uh, obviously, I wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. And uh, I hope that uh, 2024 is fantastic for yourself as well. So that's the first one. Next is another card, and this one's all the way from the States. And this is from my brother from another mother, uh, Doug Hensley. Um, really appreciate it Doug. I'm so sorry guys that I just as I say didn't get my act together and get some cards out to to some of you guys. Um, uh, I really do appreciate the fact that you've um, you've sent these um, and Doug I hope you and the family um, are happy, could have a great Christmas and uh, the 2024 is uh, peaceful uh, at least for you guys. Thanks ever so much mate. Okay, on to the first of the stash ads. Um, I must admit, when this came through the post, um, I thought, what the hell is that? Um, and then I realised that inside are some resin figures, and I thought, oh my God, I've got to clean them all this up just to get to, just to get the figures off. But of course, I think the cages around them are just for transportation purposes so that they uh, don't get damaged. I have... Um, taken the cage from round one of the figures and so I thought I'd uh, show you that. So there you go guys, that's what's uh, inside those boxes. They are 172nd um, German uh, crew for, well, personnel. But basically they're all seated and they're supposed to go in the back of a half track. Um, you know, one of the SDK7s or 11s. Um, now, I specifically chose Africa Core because uh, I want to use some of these on the diorama that I'm doing for the SDK of Z222 that I've shown you recently. Um, I think the files are from one company and I think somebody from eBay is just printing off that file and selling these figures, which, um, which I do appreciate because not having a 3D printer means that I need people to print stuff off. Um, now I have bought some more figures from the company who sells, who created the files and they actually have printed them, you know, the figures off as well. So you can buy them, but um, I think they're coming from Germany. I think the company has produced these, a Polish, is a Polish company. Um, so it's a, a German company where I bought a few figures and, and items and they're shipping the figures out so already um, printed for me. So, so yeah. Um, these guys seem a bit lanky, if I'm honest. They look really long in the legs. <laughs> but uh, I suppose if they're sat behind somebody else in a half track, then you won't really notice the legs. So we will see how we get on. Um, some of them have got like the pith helmets, as opposed to the field cap. Uh, that the Africa Corps wore, uh, well some of them anyway, quite a few just worn the, the normal German helmet but obviously uh, painted in a, a sand colour. So that's those. Right, I uh, got myself some paints. Uh, this is AK's uh, spray paint for uh, sand yellow. Um, it's n not in the big can at all, it's in the smaller cans, um, similar, uh, larger than the Tamiya ones but not as big as the um, Games Workshop cans, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I am trying to look at another one that I've got in my hands as to what size these are, but I can't, um, I can't see anything with regards to size. It says 150 milliliters. There you go. So this one's uh, sand yellow, as I say, and I'll be using this as my base color for the, um, for the armored cars. And then I'm gonna put in the, uh, Desert Diorama. While I was at it getting that, I thought I'd get myself some Panzer Grey from AK. Um, it'd be interesting if I can find, actually find the bloody paint that matches this uh, spray paint, um, because that would be really useful. 
Initially what I was going to do was um, spray the armoured car, Panzer Grey, and then uh, put some chipping fluid on, I think, or hairspray technique. Spray it with hairspray a couple of times, then spray it over with the sand, and then uh, chip the paint. But I've moved away from that, or, um, and I'll explain what I did um, when, I, when you next see the, uh, the armoured car. Okay, so a much bigger tin. Uh, this is uh, more like um, your car spray paint uh, size. This is from um, Army Paint, it actually says it on the tin now. Um, satin varnish, I bought two. Uh, I bought this one satin varnish and this one matte varnish. The intention is I'm going to try and use these um, to um, give the armoured car a satin finish, put the decals on and then um, seal them in the matte varnish. That's the plan. I've never used the Army Painters uh, varnishes before, so it'll be interesting to see how they work. Um, as far as I'm aware, Games Workshop only do the one varnish and I needed, uh, as I say, a, a satin or a gloss finish and then a matte finish. So I've moved away from using that. I hope to God these things work all right, you know, um, I have done some spraying outside in this cold weather and as people say uh, and as I've done before if you just put the rattle can in some warm water leave it there for a bit make sure your builds in the, a, a warm location as well then you can dive out a uh, shaky can in the house if you have to and then you can dive outside spray your um, project and then bring it all back in and stink the house out uh, so yeah so that's uh, those so believe it or not, I did not get this paint, <laughs> this uh, sand yellow, <laughs> when I bought the um, the rattle can <laughs> sand yellow. Um, it was it was daft. One company was selling the rattle cans, um, so I got them from there. And then I, they weren't selling the um, individual pots of paint, so I had to get that from somewhere else. So uh, this is uh, just a case, um, as I say, sand yellow. Hopefully, it will match the colour from the can. Um, you know the, the, if I have to do any touch up on the on the um, armored car, it won't um, stick out like a sore thumb that it is a different shade. Okay, guys. So the next items are some figures from Games Workshop. Um, I fell into the trap of um, looking through one of the shop's websites and buying the the paints off there. I thought. Um, oh, you know what? I, I fancy doing some of these. Um, now, I have painted these on the... Have I? I may have done, I may not. I may have... <laughs> these are foul water trogos. Um Unfortunately, uh, they've been shipped in these rather uh, dark-looking uh, boxes, which uh, I would much prefer the, um, the ones that actually show the figures that you're getting in the box. So I shall show you a clip of what these are. So the intention is, is to paint these up, um, as I say, I just have a hankering to do some. And um, as well as these, I bought some others that will go with um, a Gloom Spike Gits army. Now I found the Gloom Spike Gits army that I did using just the um, contrast paints. In the loft unfortunately the box had fallen over as is uh, the thing with me um, they got scattered over the loft a bit and I don't know what kind of um, state they're in but I am thinking of repainting them um, using the AK paints and just uh, just doing normal acrylics on them as opposed to contrast paints so I'll show you one box uh, because I bought two of the same um, item so something a bit different for me. Uh, these are Spider Fang Spider Riders, uh, as I say, from the Gloom Spike Gits uh, Army faction. Um, again, I will show you a clip of what these um, what these figures look like. So I just thought uh, for a bit of fun, I would uh, do these up. The reason is um, in February next year. Um, old Warhammer, I think it's going to be called, uh, is coming back, and I am, I am just wanting to so get into that. Even if you don't play it, 
I want to be building armies for it because of the nostalgia. Um, I wasn't very young when I played uh, the Warhammer in the past. I think I was, uh, oh, I don't know, 16, 17 when I first started playing. Uh, and then I stopped playing when I was 20, I don't know, 28 or something like that. So, but, but I really would like to just build armies around that. And I'm hoping that these figures would can be used as part of uh, one of those factions. Anyway, guys, that's it. Um, again, a huge thanks to Joachim and to Doug for the Christmas cards. They will go up on my shelf um, as part of the decorations in the lounge. Um, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Thank you to all the new subscribers who've joined the channel. Uh, I hope your week is going well. Uh, look after yourselves, and I'll catch up with you soon.